This is the type of day that I have been dreading as we start homesteading. We have some sick chickens, one for sure. Uh, we discovered last night that we have mites inside our coop. And our Buffa Orpington that is broody has been very pale and just not looking very well. And today she definitely looked worse. And so I'm thinking the mites have really been biting her. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her into that chicken tractor. I'm gonna see if I can move the eggs. I don't think she's been on them for the past hour or so, so I don't even know if it's worth it, but we're gonna move them all in there. I'm gonna rub her down with some DE. I'm going to give her electrolytes, and I'm also gonna give her some red meat, raw red meat to help her with her anemia because I'm thinking she's just out of it. She doesn't look good. And then we will proceed to continue to clean the coop, scrub it all down with DE, but first things first is making sure that she's okay. Okay, I got her waterfall and fill her feet and then I'm gonna go find her. She's over there by the fence line, just kinda hanging out, I'll show you. Seems like all the chickens have been gathering by her, which is kinda interesting. Hi, buddy. All right, it's kinda hard to see with the sun. Right here, and everyone's kinda gathered around her, including our rooster Caesar, which I'm a little nervous of grabbing her and how he does, but it's necessary. You guys may see this broom in a lot of our vlogs. Tom likes to walk with it. And it's just our little protector against our rooster. Just to let him know not to come too close, we just kind of put it out and he kind of stays a good radius around us. Especially with the kids, we let them carry this around, that way they feel safe. Because uh, roosters are known to jump at kids. And so it's just a little extra protection. Alright, so here she is. I'm going to see if I can scoop her up. All right, that didn't go so well. <laughs> She's under the coop. She's under there, right down there. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get her. Hi, Delilah. Hi, buddy. Are you guys waiting for me to get done? So this is what homesteading is with kids, is like. They are just right next to you. It's safer for them to be out here with me so I can keep an eye on them than be inside. Um, I have them outside of the chicken run. That way I don't have to worry about the rooster right now. Cause like I said, he does get sassy sometimes. So it's just easier to do that. Okay, we're gonna try an old trick here. Pocket treats. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, they're ganging up on her. I gotta grab her. I have to do it. You're out, chickadee. I'm gonna go take care of her now. Here she is. I am looking at her feathers and she definitely does have mites on her. I'm probably gonna need a shower after this. But look how pale she is, guys. Look at this. Poor little girl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rub her down with some DE and I'm going to give her some food. I'm gonna go get that red meat that I have thawing just for her. And I'm actually gonna give some to the whole flock too because I'm sure they're all pretty anemic. And I'm not even gonna worry about those eggs. She's been off them all morning. And really, I just wanna make sure that she is healthy and that's, that's our top priority right now, huh? You just look so out of it, I know. Let's take care of her. I rubbed her down pretty good, try to get as close as I can to her skin. I'm hoping she's gonna eat some food here. Okay, let's check and see if our ground beef is thawed out here. I have it thawing out in some water. And it feels pretty squishy, so I'm gonna see if I can break up some for chickadee and give the rest to the other members of the flock. <laughs> yeah, you ready to do that? Okay. Okay, looks like it's ready. I have one for Chickadee, one for Rosie that's broody in the coop as well, and then a big one for the rest of the flock. Come here. 
Everyone is confused why she isn't here and they are out there. Yeah, so you don't pick on her, guys. Oh, you're okay. Stop bluffing. So, as Chickadee recovers inside that chicken tractor, what I need to do right now, Chelsea's been trying to make sure that she gets plenty of food and water and trying to just kind of get her back to a good health state over there. Now, what we need to do, and I got, I left work a little early, I wanted to be able to come help to try to clean out the coop and spray it down. With three kids, it's really hard to get out here and do all that stuff, so I figured if I can get home a little bit earlier, we try to tackle this project as soon as possible, because the last thing we want is mites every single night biting at these chickens all the time. So, so I'm going to get all this cleaned out, get all the straw out, and spray it down here, and I'll show you what I'm going to spray it with, but let's get to that part. Coop is all cleaned out now. I have as much straw as I can possibly get out of it. There's still some around here and there, but it's pretty much all gone. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, permethrin is what we're gonna use, and I saw this all over for people who had this problem. This is what people use for flies, for a lot of like their cows and horses, and this is gonna do wonders on all the mites, it sounds like, and it would do good on ticks and things of those sorts. And I pulled the eggs that Chickadee was sitting on, I could see a lot of mites on those eggs. It made me realize how bad and why she was so anemic is I think the mites were really getting her because I saw them all over the eggs. And I'm gonna spray down this coop. Let's get it done. The coop sprayed down cleaned out, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. That's airing out, hopefully that kind of helps that situation. But the next situation is that the chickens themselves. And we're probably gonna to have to grab some of them individually, if not all of them eventually, and try to get some either DE rubbed on them to help dry out any of the mites that might be on them. We need to spray some of that stuff on them, which I know they're not gonna like, or maybe dip them in a bucket. And we're starting to lose some sun for today, so I don't know if I wanna do that to them today, and then they're really wet for the nighttime. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up two little dust baths. I'm just gonna throw some dirt in each one, throw some DE in it, a good amount of DE because we want them to get that on there. Dust bathing is the best way for them to kind of clean themselves from any kind of bugs they might have on them. Make sure that whenever you're using DE that you get the one that says food grade. I cleaned off just in case I had any mites on me from doing all the spraying and rubbing DE and... But, chickadee girl looks like she wants to come out and see everybody, so we're gonna let her out and see how it goes. She like came out and just ate them off while I was flying. It's been about two days now and I want to give you guys an update on how Chickadee's been doing. Not that Chickadee. I'll show you our buff Orpington and how she's been reacting ever since the mites have been hitting her and everything. So so right here, this first one right here, this is Chickadee. And she has been doing much better. Haven't you girl? Her color looks a lot better. She's moving around. Nobody's pecking at her, teasing her. So she has been just part of the flock again and it has been going really good. Also, the mites have been a lot better. They're not really in the coop anymore. We've had them sleep a few nights in the tractor so that we could really spray it down at night because that's when the mites are active. So it's better to try to attack those things when they're active and not when they're hiding around. So we find that that really helped. And also we were able to spread DE around a little bit as well throughout just the chicken tractor, chicken coop, around the areas, any spots that they dust bathe. And I think we've gotten the mite problem a little under control, but we'll come back and look at it again here in about a week. Try to get a little bit more, make sure that just preventative, even if we don't see anything. But I think we've nursed our first chicken back to some good health after one of their first sicknesses. Uh, not broody anymore, not sitting on the eggs anymore, but we cared more about her health than we did about hatching out our chicks this time. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and make sure you keep an eye on your animals at all times. See you later.